Alright, this is a weekly reading for Sagittarius. I have two songs for you. Um, Reuben and the Dark, Bow and Arrow, Rush, Lock and Key. So, it's a, it's a, it's a nice week. Um, so, I also channeled a lot of things for you. So we will do that at the end. But first, let's get to the reading with your week as a whole and it's gonna be the two of cups uh, fun. the two of cups is um, you're in complete harmony with somebody special in your life whether this is work related partner related or relationship related or friendship related it is positive for you both be sure to stay positive with each other and the connection has the major growth potential. So there's going to be um, <laughs> maybe some growth for you. I got the name Sean, so your partner, you could be named Sean. So uh, there's that, and also somebody named Rebecca, or Becca. <laughs> so there, there, there could be a little bit of something there, too. Um, so... It could be a love type of week. I'm not going to say that for everybody, but it might be a good friend that you're um, relating to or you might be getting back in contact with also. But I feel like this is more of a relationship, love relationship, okay? So number two, something unexpected that will arise. We have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is an important relationship, friendship, or family connection that has found its stride. Um, you're both feeling supported, understood and appreciated, nurtured in this connection. Remember to give as much as you take to maintain balance. So there's a sense of, you know, uh, actually achieving something. I, I feel like there's, there's a milestone that's actually getting back on track there could be some spiritual aspects that came together for you or maybe some therapy stuff i know a lot of people are going to either therapy or they're trying to do some spiritual stuff where they're taking yoga and they might be meditating every day and actually coming to terms with who they are as a person and what they want out of life you know that kind of thing so that's <laughs> that's kind of what i feel like this is because it's technically the a lot of emotion here because of the cups you know cups water emotion um emotions are ruled by the moon and so is water so you know it's a, it's a pretty emotional time i feel like this is it probably is a new moon if i'm not mistaken is it new yeah probably <laughs> new moon a crescent crescent moon um so let's see Number three, how to stay grounded and balanced. We have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is dreaming can be powerful act of manifestation. Let your mind wander a little. What adventures do you want to go on? Um, where do you want to take them? And where do you want them to take you? Visualize your best life and then put it into action behind making these visions a reality. So you could be on your own vision quest. You could be on your traveling quest. Um, or maybe just going somewhere where you want to be. I, I got the name Costa Rica. So somebody's going to Costa Rica and other people might be going to Cancun. Um, so <laughs> that's a, a nice tropical place. I feel like everybody needs, like, a paradise trip, like, after, you know, corona and stuff. But, yeah, that's, that's, uh, you know, yeah. Enjoy your trip. I, I really want to go to Costa Rica, too. <laughs> I just know everybody's going to be like, ah, the tropics. Maybe somebody's going to the Bahamas, too. I got Bahamas. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's one of those weeks to definitely go, like, you know, on vacation and actually take a load off. So, yeah, I, I feel that. Anyway, number four important emotion you will feel this week. 
We have the Eight of Cups. There's so much emotion here. Like, there's so many cups. Y'all are getting emotionally, you know, back together. Okay? So, it's the Eight of Cups. Um, when a dream once achieved isn't quite as fulfilling as expected. You worked hard for this, but you're still not satisfied. Take some time to reflect on your current emotion emotions and needs because they may have changed adjusting your situation accordingly so you might actually have uh, certain things that you wanted to achieve or certain things that fell through or delayed or something to that effect but I feel like you're where you need to be um, I, I know that's kind of cliche like oh you might be where you need to be but, um, there's, there's going to be some major changes in your life, and it's going to be really slow going. So it's going to be like, oh, this, this is going to just, like, glide. It's not going to glide, it's kind of going to fluctuate. Um, so in the future, <laughs> downtime like this will be a memory. It won't be, like, really thrilling or really exciting. It's going to be just, like, family time the foundation of the relationship, stuff like that. So it's not going to be anything too drastic or crazy. It's just going to be very light and soft as a memory. So I would enjoy it while you have it. Okay, Sagittarius? I know it's... <laughs> oh, we're going to be romantic. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's, it's just going to be time with your partner. It's not going to be anything like, oh my gosh, let's go on an adventure and fight lions or something <laughs> it's just gonna be light okay so anyway we have number five something that will inspire you we have the ace of pentacles so great things are coming your way it can uh refer to a lucrative new job a gift an unexpected uh momentary windfall Take full advantage of the new opportunities as they appear, because time is right for success, okay? So it's all leading up to success, like I said before. And then we have number six. We have how your spirit guides will speak to you this week. We have the three of swords. They're in reverse, so it's almost like the swords are falling out of the heart. Usually the three of swords is, you know, a heart that has swords in it. So, <laughs> having it upside down is better than having it right side up. So, coming to terms with the past, it's time to pluck the needles out of your heart and let it heal, um, nurse those wounds, and move forward, or go forward, depending on what you want to do. Um, so, it's, it's healing right now. It's healing wounds, it's healing from disappointment, uh, rejection, other stuff that's been happening that's probably not the most savoriest of things, but it's time to heal. It's time to take self-care days, meditate, and actually relax. I feel like a lot of people haven't been relaxing, might be on edge, might be having one of those days where you kind of claw your way out of like a hole or out of a situation that's very uncomfortable or just very tense, you know, it's, it's, it's time to actually just, you know, take a, take a moment, you know. And then we have number seven, how to best support yourself this week. We have the Knight of Cups. So sulking, gloomy, um, brooding, this is often the cause of a big disappointment. Take time to really think about your options before acting on them. Relationships can be sticky when decisions are made emotionally rather than logically. So, again, that's why I was kind of like, oh, you're going on a trip to Costa Rica. And then, like, there's all these cups around. Like, you have the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, you have the Seven of Cups, you have the Eight of Cups, like the, and then you have the Knight of Cups. But... It's like all these cups, like, it's a total of 27 cups that you have in this reading alone. So it's, <laughs> there's going to be some shaky ground here somewhere. But, um, yeah, I feel like 
somebody made the trip emotionally and not logically. Like, we should go here because this, this, and this. No, it was more like, we should go here because it's relaxing and nice and all this. And without really looking at warnings and whether you'd be stuck there for a long time afterwards and you can get back to work and stuff like that. Might have been under quarantine in paradise, you know, you never know. So it's, uh, it, could, it could be a bit of a, uh, bit of a problem this week. So just, just take time, make memories, don't make like a lot of complaints or sulking about it. If you're delayed, there's a reason for that, you know, rejection is God's way of protecting you. So, you know, uh, you know, just get right, roll with it, okay? So... For your channeled message, we have falling back in love with your partner, online dating, unsure about relationships, seeking a soulmate, abundance in a love relationship, seeking the perfect relationship, some will uh, seek fame around this time, and creating a vision, um, changing your appearance. So there's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um... As far as love is concerned, a lot of different things happening, a lot of dating happening, stuff like that. So you might be delayed because of, you know, stuff going on. But, you know, it is it is what it is. So take it as it comes. I feel like it's not going to be for too much longer, but it might just be a shock to the system to go, 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 and then stop. You know, it's... It, it's a very weird energy so anyway Sagittarius hopefully you know you, you think a little bit logically if you're going on a trip or you're going to meet somebody and um, if it's too good to be true I would ask more questions okay so you're not bamboozled I don't want anybody getting bamboozled I want you to have good things um, build memories not a uh, hate speech or regret and uh, I will see you in the next reading, okay? Later.